Welcome back to another episode. So today is the third installment of my fall dining room tours. Um, I did look one, look two, and now we are viewing look three. So this style is basically a trendy farmhouse chic style and i am so excited about this style you guys because it's really out of my comfort zone um i love the farmhouse look but i was a little bit nervous in um trying to create a farmhouse um dining room much less vignettes um and i think that it really turned out really really well so i'm so excited to take you guys on this tour so let's start off with this black and white gingham pumpkin i made this pumpkin um it was a diy i didn't film it but i can film a diy for you guys if you'd like to see it um it was super easy and i just love the way that it turned out most of my um decor i got from marshall's and hobby lobby in um walmart i did get some things from target and some of the things i already had like these beautiful pumpkins i had from last year um that white pumpkin was actually orange and i spray painted it white and i just tied a black and white bow around the stem i also placed some little dollar tree pumpkins um that i got this year as well and some picks from the hobby lobby that thankful sign i got from marshall's and the wreath i got from walmart and i believe it was four dollars the bless our home sign i did get that from i want to say marshall's as well um i really really love this vignette you guys it is so beautiful it's so farmhouse and it's so chic it's not like a lot to me but it turned out beautiful So for my mantle, I just wanted something simple and chic. Um, you guys remember I did a haul on this beautiful um, garland, which we'll, you will see in a little bit. That stacked pumpkin I got from Marshalls. The little gold pumpkin I got from the Dollar Tree. And this pumpkin patch I got from Marshalls as well. It is so super cute. I absolutely love it. Um, that tree, I call it the tree of life. <laughs> <laughs> um, the little tree uh, picture, I guess you want to say the wall decor I got from um, Walmart. And this beautiful candle was from Marshalls, you guys. It's $2.99 and it smells absolutely amazing. <laughs> the lantern I already had and the pumpkins I already had. And so I just wanted to do something simple, but you know, just stay in the farmhouse um chic style that i wanted to go with and this garland what can i say about this garland when i first saw it in hobby lobby i knew i had to get it it is burlap it is awesome it's beautiful it's elegant at the same time but it's rustic chic and i just absolutely love the way that my mantle turned out this year to tell you the truth guys i think this is my favorite look so far of the entire installment i thought it was going to be the traditional look um but i'm really loving this farmhouse look so here i went ahead and just kind of put together a bunch of different things um to form this vignette and some of the things i already had and some i did purchase like this uh, galvanized canister i purchased it from walmart and i believe it was 16.99 um the pumpkins um i already had these pumpkins some of them were from hobby lobby and some were from the dollar tree and as you see i i just i couldn't get rid of my corn and my hay i just had to reuse them i think it looks amazing it looks like a country farmhouse you know decor but i love the way that it turned out this um the pumpkin the three stack pumpkin i got from marshall's as well and there you see i have some cotton picks and um some eucalyptus uh faux plant and um 
some greenery and my sunflowers that I got from Walmart. I got all these from Walmart, you guys. Walmart has really stepped it up with their farmhouse um, merchandise, you guys. They are really doing really, really well with their farmhouse products. I'm absolutely loving it. I also um, went ahead and just put some little curly picks that I did get from Walmart as well. You can probably see them sort of like fading away in the background, but it just, I love the way that it makes this centerpiece um, just pop. And this little pumpkin, you guys saw it in my haul um, two videos ago. I got it from the Hobby Lobby. And then this white pumpkin I got from Marshalls, like I said. And I just love it. I had to use it. It's gorgeous. <laughs> and as you can see, I took down my mirrored pieces from over the mantle and kind of just scattered it around in the room. Um, I think it's so elegant, but it still has a farmhouse chic to it. This plant, um, it came in the bottle itself and I got it from Marshalls and it was $5. I think it's so cute. And these candlesticks I got from Marshalls as well. And as well as the, pump, the um, pumpkin, the white pumpkin candle, <laughs> sorry, which smells absolutely amazing. And the yellow pumpkin. So as you can see, my colors for the this farmhouse look is yellow and you know rustic browns and grays and a little bit of ceramic glass and um, a little bit of you're gonna see my blue collection vases um, it sort of all just ties in I changed my draperies as well I wanted to go farmhouse so I got these beautiful curtains from Walmart and they were on sale for $11 for two panels so i spent 22 dollars for four panels and i think it turned out amazing so i just went ahead and put these picks that i got from hobby lobby into um my blue and white ceramic vase i think it looks beautiful the colors pop against the blue and it all just ties in together i don't feel like anything is fighting with each other competing with each other it all just ties in so beautifully and I love it you guys and I hope that you guys will love it too. So what can I say about my dining room table? It is the pièce de résistance. I hope I said that correctly. <laughs> but here I just wanted to go with all white dishes. It is um, a rep representation of the farmhouse chic in my opinion. And I got these plates actually from the plates and the bowls. I got them from um, Salvation Army a while back and they were super, super cheap. I think I spent like maybe $4 for um, each setting. And I already had the, um, the mats and the chargers. And the napkins, you guys, those are actually the square materials that you will see in Walmart. I got those five in a pack. Um, I thought it was six, but it came five in a pack and I got it for $4.99. And they're all different um, designs, as you'll see as we go around the table. This beautiful lantern in the middle, I got it from Marshalls. It was originally $24.99, and then I kept watching it, and it got marked down and marked down and marked down, and I got it for $3.50. No lie, I am super excited about that. So as you see, you see here the napkins, they're all different. Um, designs and I think that it adds you know it adds something a little pizzazz to the table it gave, gives the table a little attitude um and I love that about it and the yellow pumpkins again I got from Marshall's and this ceramic black and white and gold pumpkin I got from Marshall's as well and that little white pumpkin with the leaf I got from the Dollar Tree So here we go with my beautiful table runner. Again, this is just a piece of material. It's two yards of materials. I paid $9 for it at Walmart and I just used it as my table runner. Um, and I turned it on the diagonal this time because I wanted something different. And I think that it adds a certain elegance um, to the table and it just looks beautiful, you guys. So it just really, goes to show that you don't have to spend a lot of money to um, get you know whatever look it is that you're going for just be creative and be open um, and you know just just really really try to find things that 
are thrifted or you know from walmart or just on clearance you know just you don't have to go out and buy anything expensive to create a space or style or a look um so i hope you guys enjoy this video i am going to leave a poll in the left hand corner um for you guys to just take a poll and see if this is the look that i should go with for the fall um and stay tuned for the next video which is the last and final installment um for my dining room tour and then you will see the final look that i choose based on you guys's answer for the fall that will be uploaded on september 1st so thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you have not yet done so press that bell and i will see you guys in the next episode bye